Well, this year with Black History Month, there is also a focus on the importance of health and wellness. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health is collaborating with healthcare workers around the country to highlight the impacts COVID-19 has on African Americans with underlying health issues. 23 ABC's Taylor Levesque has more on how this pandemic has impacted underserved communities here in Kern County. Local organizations have helped vaccinate thousands of Kern County residents by partnering with local organizations to ease vaccine hesitancy in communities here in Bakersfield by providing easier access to COVID-19 testing, vaccines and resources to underserved communities. We know that there's a lot of health disparities among the African American and the um, a Hispanic community. Between helping communities in need and combating misinformation, Clinical Director Marie Ruffin says she helps organizations partner with Kern Medical to provide vaccine clinics to the community. We try to uh, bring in also people that um, are professionals so that they can see us, representation, uh, nurses, providers, doctors, so that we can give them some type of information in regards to the vaccine, break down all the myths, break down the, the fears or the concerns. Founder of both the MLK Community Initiative and She Power Leadership Academy, Arlena Waller, says she's been on the front lines since the very beginning of the pandemic. I realized there were no efforts penetrated to the African-American community. And I started reaching my arms out like an octopus, finding someone to support and help us reach the African-American community. Not to say get vaccinated or don't get vaccinated, but to educate and engage them so that they would have the information and make their best choice. And with the help of state and local resources, she's seen a difference. We were able through those efforts, collaborative efforts, vaccine over 50,000 people. And through our efforts throughout the community, we partner with CBOs, we partner with hospitals, we partner with clinics. Um, I would say we're probably just our efforts in collaboration um, have been able to get more than 80,000, I would say, vaccinated. Ruffin says health disparity is a big problem. Everybody has a different experience and that don't let uh, myths or fear stop them from getting the vaccine and then also getting information about it. We're not out there saying vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. We're out there saying educate yourselves, make a decision that works for your family. But see what's happening is a lot of people are not educated, so they can't make that decision. That's important. Waller says the goal is to reach even more people and additional COVID-19 testing sites are expected to open on Saturdays. Additional information about these sites will be available on our website, turn to 23.com. In studio, Taylor Levesque, 23ABC, connecting you.